Believe it or not, sometimes just the simple angle of your 3D print can cost you hours on your print. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I save two hours off of an eight hour print and you can apply this to any print that you do. And it all starts on the computer. So let's go check it out. Okay, so using your slicer of choice, uh, once you have your model pulled in here, uh, typically, you know, what I do just to get a, a, a baseline is I hit this auto button right here on the plate, but that's not always the best position, right? And as you can see right here, it put my model clear off the edge of the plate. So you can't always rely on that. You know, I would just never rely on it. So uh, let's slice this as it gave it to us, right? And if you go by default, this is what you're gonna get. Okay, so as you can see right here, I sliced the model and we're sitting at seven hours and eight minutes on this model. And look at all of that support structure right there that is absolutely not necessary. And we can simply save time, filament, and money by simply angling this part a little bit differently. And also you can go over here and adjust your threshold angle and that will help too. So let's start out with the threshold angle. Let's let's bump this down to, let's say 20, I don't know, 23, Michael Jordan. Let's go, slice plate. Okay, so Michael Jordan did zero for us there, right? But let's bump it down to 20 and let's see what that does. All right, now we're cooking with grease. Check that out, five hours and 32 minutes if we bump that down to 20, right? But there's something else that we can do, and that's by changing the position of the part and as well as the, the actual angle of the part. So let's try that because we don't even need to mess with the threshold angle if we can get the actual true position of the part on the plate correctly. We're gonna get out of the preview menu. We're gonna go back to prepare. We're gonna select our part here. And then let's see, we want to select right here, lay on face. And then I think we want to go, let's try that. Okay. Well, we know we can't print it like that. So let's do, here we go. Let's, let's do this again, lay on face. Let's try this. Okay, that's looking a little more promising. Okay, cool, so now that we have that, we can unselect that. Let's, here, hold on, let's do this. And then now we can go to rotate. And this is where you get your angle in right here. So we wanna rotate this part. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna wanna rotate this part and get this thing, there we go. Okay, and don't worry about it being off the build plate right here because you can, you just adjust it later. And right now you're just getting your angle and that's all that matters, right? I think that one's going to be a pretty good one because if you look at it right here, that's going to be less than 45 degrees for sure. Um, oh, maybe 45 degrees, right? And then, it, so you'll probably just have support right here at the tailpiece. And then there will probably be some type of support right here at the base of this, which I think will work out great and we'll cut down our time. So let's uh, move this on our build plate, get it back situated. And then we can check it out, make sure it's not hanging off. Okay, good. And now we can re-slice the plate and see what happens. Okay, here we go. We're at five hours, 49 minutes. And so we didn't really save a ton of time on that one, but I mean, look at the filament. You, There's not a lot of support structure here and you're actually saving a ton of filament by doing it this way. And see these holes, typically you would think, oh, they need, you know, they need a uh, support, but if they're angled properly, they really don't. Oh, and hey, real quick, if you guys appreciate me doing these videos and taking the time to explain things, then drop a subscribe, hit the like button and comment and let me know what other feature, what other things do you want me to break down? Now this little guy right here in the middle, that <laughs> that's a guaranteed failure and you're gonna wanna just basically go in, you know, if you run into this situation, um, you want to just go in and do manual supports right here. You see where they need to go. You just need to fill it right here, fill it right there. And then obviously under here, there's a couple of holes that we need to fill. And, and then that would be it. And if you really just don't feel safe about the angle and this hole right here, you can always put a little bit of support structure in there. So we'll go over here on the right hand side on enable support. And we're just going to put this on manual. And then we're gonna go over here at the top, select our model. We'll go up here at the top. 
and support painting right there. Uh, you know, depending on what slicer you use, yours, yours might be different. And we'll do pin size. I like to do a little bit bigger so I don't have to cover as much area. And if you remember, there was support here, so we're gonna paint that. That just lets the support know where to be. And then obviously it was right here on the bottom of this. And so we'll do that. And I'm gonna do a little bit extra. That way it gives our, our part a little more stability on the build plate so we don't have to worry about it. And then like I said, if you're really just not comfortable with that hole and you know, you, you don't feel comfortable with the angle, you can always put a little bit of su support stuff in there. Now, depending on how strong your part needs to be, right? You can also save a little bit of time. Now my part happens to need a little bit of stability. So I've got triangles and I've only done 7% uh, percent density because that's enough for me. Everybody's situation is different, but let's just say it doesn't need a ton of strength and it's kind of a for looks part then you can even go down here and, and one setting that i know that actually gives you a bunch of time back typically is lightning now that applies differently to every single print but let's check it out we were at five hours and 48 minutes and let's see where we're at just by changing that from lightning and look at that we're at four hours and eight minutes and that's just from changing the infill pattern that's it you saw that's the only thing that i changed you have to make the conscious decision of does that fit your needs right and see in this situation that doesn't fit my needs as much as i would love to save the the extra time what is that an hour and 40 something minutes that i could save just by changing that i can't because this part needs a little bit of stability and so i'm using triangles and that's the one that i chose to, to you know to pick now there are other ones that I probably could use and you know, let's try those and see if maybe they'll still give me the stability I need at the same time. Maybe they'll save me some time. So let's try that. Let's try grid. Maybe I'll get better than five hours and 48 minutes. Who knows? And these are things that you just have to troubleshoot and try and see what works for you because every print is different. And as you can see, see, I, I changed the grid five hours and 51 minutes that added time to me. So let's try a lined rectilinear. Let's try that. Those are straight lines. You would think that would be faster than, you know, doing hexagon or or anything else. And actually, yeah, that that saved me like seven or eight minutes. So in that case, that works for me. And five hours, 41 minutes, that saved me like seven minutes because we were at 548. So uh, you can I mean, you could just keep going through and doing that and figuring out, you know, what works for you and, you know, what saves you the most time. Now, another infill that I really like is Adaptive Cubic. Um, I haven't really used it a lot, but the few times I have, I have really liked it. And it's actually gonna save you some time as well. So let's slice it with Adaptive Cubic. And we were at five minutes or five hours and 48 minutes. And let's see what this puts us at. Man, that shaved off over almost 30 minutes. That's five hours and 22 minutes just by changing to Adaptive Cubic. So you guys can see how important infill pattern and density is along with the angle of your print. They can be crucial to how much time your print takes. So as you guys can see, the angle of your print, infill density, in, uh, and infill patterns make a huge difference. So make sure you check your angles, your infill density, your infill pattern, and also check out our Patreon. If you guys need help with your 3D printer, we offer American-based 3D printer support. You can sign up as a gold or a bronze member and get one-on-one -on -one support with myself via video, email, chat, text, whatever it may be. If you don't need support and you just wanna hang out and get free STLs, giveaways, I mean, we do all kinds of stuff for our free members as well. So you can hop on over there, join up, and get in on the action. So until next time, stay ready to 3D print.